There's been a lot of controversy about the Monster High reboot, but there's something really cool that is coming out of the Monster High reboot. Little siblings. And we're gonna take a look at them today on Mommy's Doll Corner. Hey everybody, welcome back to Mommy's Doll Corner. So one of the coolest things I think is that we're including the families. And uh, Gracie and I found um, from the Monster High family collection, we found these three little ghouls at Walmart. And so um, this is uh, Claudine's little ghoul sister. And um, her name is, let's see, which one are you? You have the, I think, I think that she's Paula, P-A-W-L-A, -A, wolf. And then uh, Draculaura apparently has a little sister and her name is Fangelica, which is kind of cute. I've always kind of liked the name Angelica. And then of course it reminds me of Rugrats, so that's kind of cool. And then Laguna, we did sort of see Laguna's sister in um, the, um, you know, the with the water movie. I am just so firing on all cylinders right now where Posia was in it, a Great Scarier Reef. So we did get to see Laguna's sister, uh, one of her sisters there, and I think that was Kelpie. This is Ebby. This is Ebby Blue. So Ebby, like the tide ebbs and flows. So that's really cute. So uh, let me tell you a little bit about Ebby while you check her out here in the box. The Blue family feels at home on any beach and enjoys sharing those go with the flow times in the sun playing together, sun and surf together. Okay, so that really didn't tell us much. Uh, for the Wolf family, for Paula, the Wolf family is packed with siblings all trying to get ready for bed at once. It's total chaos, but also a howling good time. Oh, I believe that. And then uh, for Draculaura's sister, Fangelica, the kitchen is a fantastic place for Dracula and his two daughters to bond while whipping up tasty bites from traditional to Drax fave vegetarian. So these are really, really cute. I'm gonna take them out of the box and we'll take a closer look together. And they're out of the box. So we're gonna kind of kick it old school here. I'm gonna stay on this side of the camera to show these ghouls to you. So I'm going to start with uh, Fangelica, who I think is just super adorable. And that set is about baking, right? It's about a family in the kitchen together. So she comes with accessories. She comes with, um, on her hand, she comes with this really cute mixing bowl. And notice the hands, the blades on the mixing bowl are actually, are actually like little skeleton fingers. And I'm thinking that would actually work really, really well as a hand mixer. And here's Fangelica. She's really sweet. Um, if you're wondering about the articulation, there's very little articulation on these dolls. As an adult collector, I think, you know, the number one reason why you would get these would be because you just have to have everything. Um, and these are the first siblings and, you know, that's kind of why I got them because it's like, oh, siblings, excuse me, move your mixer. Move your mixer out of the way, Fangelica. Thank you. And here's her skirt. Really cute, fun. Of course, it's got the bats, but there's like little streamers and stuff. And she's pink. And then look at her little shoes. Now, what I find interesting is her feet because Draculaura doesn't have feet like that. She also has like wings, like, I don't know, are those permanent? Um, so not sure about uh, what's going on with that. She also comes with a cake that looks very much like a cake that daddy made for Gracie's, I think it was like her eighth or ninth birthday, he made a giant uh, monster high cake that sort of was so huge it started to topple over and it's got a little face on it. And then, you know, if you're making a cake, you gotta have a mixing bowl. So we have a mixing bowl right here for Fangelica and her dad and sister to make a cake in. She's really, really cute. I did get these at Walmart, as I said, and I believe they were under $10. Uh, these would also be cute if, oh my goodness, she has Deuce's, Deuce's booty issues with her fin. I'll show you that in a second. They, um, 
Yeah, I mean, they're also cute for, for little kids. So, you know, they're something different. They're little monster dolls. And they're little girls. So, you know, they're not teenagers. So here we go. Here's Ebby. She's got her sunglasses up top. There's a kajinker holding those in. I didn't take it out. She's got these like massive ears. I guess they grow into their little flipper ears, I guess, because I know that Laguna's ears are nowhere near that large. Very, very sweet face like her sister's. She's got this little kind of hot pink coral reefy looking thing going on. She's got fins. She's got webbed fingers. And then she's a mermaid. Because you remember when we saw her in uh, Great Scarier Reef, she was a mermaid. And she's got this little friend here, um, her little pet, uh, rubber banded to her. And I'm, I'm leaving it there. Um, I think it's a tur. I don't know what it is. I'm so bad with animals. And then she's got a fin so she can swim. Ooh! Now, here's the thing. <laughs> so when you bend her fin over to make her sit down. She's got Deuce's booty issues. That's her booty. That's her booty right there. So I was kind of a little surprised. On the front of her, see, she's got scales and then her stomach is blue, but then on the back, there's no scales. It's just booty, so, okay. Her accessories are, because they're hanging out at the beach, she's got this really cool beach ball. You know, we still have, um, we still have Jackson's Gloom Beach Beach Ball, and the cats used to play with it like a cat toy, but we never lost it. And she also has this really cute sandbox looking thing. You know, I guess if she was gonna, you know, if you were gonna play in a sandbox, but she can also just sort of sit down in it. She can just like sort of lounge. Do you wanna lounge? Yeah, I wanna lounge. Now that you made fun of my booty. So she can just sort of lounge in this thing as well. So that is Ebby. And then finally, we have Paula, which is P-A-W-L-A. -A. And this is a bedtime. Uh, so the, the messaging there was about bedtime. I'm gonna admit right away, she's my favorite. She just looks so cute and excited and happy. I just really love this face so much. I love her poofy, her poofy pigtails and her streaks because you know, her sister's always about streaking her hair. And then she has this one arm that's always folded. So right now I've got a book there. You see how this arm is kind of always folded so that she can be holding something. I put the book in there, but here you go. You can take a look at her outfit. Um, she's got this little bow. Her hands are enormous and she's like super furry. So again, I'm wondering if things are a little bit different and maybe you get control over your appearance more as you get older. And she's got a super furry tail, which Claudine does not have a tail. And then she's got super furry legs and then very paw-like feet. So she's sort of like in a halfway between werewolf and um, little girl at the moment. And she comes with this cute teddy bear which you can sort of wedge. Here we go. Grab your teddy bear. I'm gonna wedge the teddy bear under this arm. Okay, wedge it under there. Get it under there. Get, oh, I want to hold my teddy. I want to hold my teddy. See, I can hold my teddy bear, just like I was holding my book. So she can hold her teddy bear. As I said, she comes with a book. The book opens, which is really cool. I was surprised. I was very surprised that the book opens. So see, the book opens. It's amazing. And she also comes with a little purple pillow because it's a sleepover. So she is really, really cute. And I honestly have to say that out of the three siblings here in the Monster High family collection, uh, Paula over here is my favorite. I'm gonna put up, um, put up a card and you can let me know uh, in the poll which one is your favorite. But yeah, mine is definitely Paula. 
Um, but all three of them are cute and it's a really cute idea. And you know, if you have a situation where you have an older kid that's into Monster High, you don't wanna buy Monster High yet for the younger one, or you wanna get them some little kid dolls that they can relate to, these are a really cute option from Mattel with the Monster High family collection. We're going to get the parents soon and then we're gonna get Draculaura's dad soon. Um, so I'm really looking forward to having him as a doll for my collection. So I got these because I'm a collector. So, so thank you guys so much for watching Mommy's Doll Corner. Don't forget to subscribe and watch another video and all that kind of good stuff. And I will see you again real soon. Love you guys. Bye.